quick video. Saw Vegan Cyclist made a video on tubeless tyres, so decided to add what I think, what I think about them, and why you should definitely go tubeless. So first up, we got a video from Old Cycling Weekly. So we can see here, got some good nails, got some good glass, just smashed some things. And um, they're basically going to see if the bike can test. So anyway, we zoom forward, and basically the bloke rides over the tyre. Bloke, sorry, bloke rides over all the glass and nails and everything and his tyres don't go flat. So basically it's almost impossible to get a puncture. I think the only way you're really going to get a puncture is if the sidewall splits or you get a tear on something like that. But that's going to affect your clinches anyway um, and your and it's going to affect your tubular as well. So I think it doesn't really matter that much in terms of that puncture but all the rest of them it's amazing. Like I, I actually can't believe it. Uh, how good it is at just fixing punctures. So you're basically never going to get a puncture. So if you race, I mean, I don't understand why you wouldn't be on tubeless because getting a puncture in a race is an absolute disaster and it's the worst thing that can happen ever. And on training, it's annoying. Like, but it's not a disaster. But racing, I mean, it just makes 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 complete sense. Um, so anyway, next reason is that they're the fastest tyres out there. So Bicycle Rolling Resistance, beautiful website absolutely beautiful, has literally like evidence on every single thing you could ever think of um, to a tyres, like weight and speeds and everything. So anyway, basically saying here, it was September 2015 they did the speed open, but they basically brought out the G Plus in January 2016. So it's the fastest tyre ever. Um, and it is, basically. So if we go down on the 23mm, okay, so five, maybe a 25mm might be a little bit slower, but if you look at this, the amount of wattage the as drag resistance at 29 k's an hour is just like so small and cycling weekly also did another thing about this tire and it was in like at 40 k's an hour 78 kilos i think it was it had about like less than 20 it was like what it was 20 20 watts 18 watts maybe it was something insane anyway that is just n nothing low. It's safe. I think here we go. I think it's safe to say the Victoria Corsa Open Speed Open TLR is the fastest road bike tire in the world at the moment of writing this review. Like, there is just nothing faster. It's actually insane. Like, there is no anti puncture belt because there's so there's no puncture resistance. But it doesn't matter because <clears throat> you have tubeless. So basically, I don't understand why you wouldn't get tubeless. Then add this: you can get tubeless tires for like what forty quid a tire. And you don't need a tube, like, they're not even that expensive, okay, buying these out of stock, but, like, £40 is just not very much for a tyre, like, a good clincher tyre, let alone, like, a tubeless tyre. This is the fastest tyre there is, it's, like, 40 quid. Like, I don't understand why you wouldn't get it, it's just better. I mean, like, okay, maybe sending off is a bit of an effort, but it's not really that much of an effort, like, it's just... Just boggles the mind. People don't do like clinches. Like, like they'll spend like three thousand pounds on a, like NVSES like five point six or four point fives or whatever they are, and they won't they won't go tubeless and they get punctured. And like, oh, I've got a puncture. I can't race. And I was like, well, yeah, you say those ten seconds on your stupid carbon wheels, but like, just get tubeless tires. They're faster. They don't. You can't get punctures, and they're just better in every single way. I just don't understand why people don't get tubeless. But anyway. Here we go, fast, durable, grip, fast. If it doesn't hold air, that's probably because they set it up wrong. As long as you know how to set it up wrong. And if you don't, just chuck it to your bike shop and they'll probably be able to sort you out, teach you how to do it. From then on, you'll be tubeless. Tubeless ready the whole time. You're ready to do that tubeless at any time. Just be the fastest bloke around, or the fastest lass around. Just be the fastest person around. I mean, no one touching you when you've got tubeless. Anyway, cheers for watching. See ya.